Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to replace the headliner and the Duramax. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull this little cover off right here. Right by the seat belt. You need to remove that seat belt bracket. Alright, once you get that boat out, we'll just pry this panel back. We'll uh, put a screwdriver in there and we'll just gently pry it back. You don't want to break any of the clips and it'll come out pretty easy. All right, then you got two little pins right here. You got one right there and one on the other side. You just need to get something back in there to pull that out. One of those door panel clip remover tools will be best for that. Hey, I don't know if you can see it, but you need to come over here to the grab handle. You need to get something in behind there and pull that out. And then there's a little a spot right here you need to get off. You can use like a little screwdriver or anything, but I'm gonna use this little hook right here now get up in there pretty easy. You just want to just want to get it up in there enough where you can pull that down. Then after you do that, it'll be ready to come down. So I just pull these little things right here down, and that will uh, make the headliner come loose. And it's also the same way with the other handles too. And you're going to repeat the same steps for the other side. All right, so now we need to focus on taking this dome light down. After you get this cover loose, you'll see the dome light hanging down. And after that, just pull to the right and then it'll come down. I just want to show you a little bit better detail how to get the dome light out. So if you look on the dome light, you'll see a little slot right there. And you can put a flathead screwdriver in there. Then once you get that cover off, the dome light will come down and you'll be able to get the uh, you'll be able to get the wire out and you'll be able to pull the rest of the dome light completely down. Might be hard to see but you can see it's just a little connector. It's got a little slot right there. You just pull that up. Alright guys now moving up to the front now we're gonna take this light off right here. And if you look up here, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. All right, guys, once you remove the screw, you'll come back here to light and you'll just pull down. Got just some clips holding it in. Then you got a little connector right here and it comes off pretty easy. All right, now we're going to remove the sun visors. Got three on this side and one right here, same way as the other side. All right, then once you get that removed, you're gonna remove this little panel right here on the A-pillar. You just wanna pull that back. You don't have to take the whole thing off. Just wanna pull that back. And then after that, your headliner should be ready to come down. All right, guys, one thing I forgot to mention. You need to go up to your rear view mirror and there's a clip in the front of it. You need to pull that off. Also, you got some uh, clips right here on the A-pillar. On this side, you wanna go ahead and remove that A-pillar trim and you need to you can either take this uh, wire off the headliner or you can follow it and figure out which uh, connector it is and go ahead and disconnect that and run it up through. And uh, pull this panel off right here that way you can find your wire better and you just want to fish it up in between this hole right here. When I took the headliner down I noticed that there's a wire for the uh, third brake light. I don't know the best way to get to it so I'm just going to crawl up in there and try to uh, Pull the connector loose. Yeah, so we got the headliner in the garage. Whenever you flip the headliner over, you'll see it looks like this. And all you have to do is take that and slide it forward. And you'll be able to pull it off real easy. And when you reinstall it, it's the same way. Slide it and lock it. And these right here, uh, th those are pretty simple. You just gotta slide this out. And then up here on this section, you just pull it up. There's some clips. So if you'll notice right here is where those go and you got these little clips that hold that in all right so on the clips whenever you turn the headliner over you're gonna have one under here and you'll have one up top and that'll the headliner will be in between these and just snap it so now we can pull the cloth off All right, guys, so now we need to remove all those other pieces off the headliner. And on some of the edges, like around through here and some of these sharp corners, uh, I'm going to use just a regular wire brush. And for the big areas, I'm going to use this wire brush attachment on the grinder. That should bring it off pretty easy. And uh, it's one thing to keep in mind 
while you're doing this, don't stay in one area very long at all because it could uh, that damage the board. Alright, so you can see I got most of it off. I did uh, make a few spots on the board with the grinder. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, the grinder works pretty good, but I just don't know that I would use this on a headliner board again. It can, uh, it can make some spots in it, and I think it would be best to use something else. I went ahead and just finished it up with a wire brush. So whenever you're doing this, just be real careful. Alright guys, so I fixed some of the spots on the headliner board. I used uh, some fiberglass patch. So now that we got all this smooth, we'll be ready to put the headliner on. Guys, I ain't going to film me actually putting it on. But I'm going to do little sections at a time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I get every part of the headliner board covered with glue. And then I'll put some on the back side of the headliner. And I'll work my way through and smooth it out by hand. And hopefully it'll work pretty good. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. So you can see I'm done just a little bit at a time. I got this one side already sprayed down. The so next, I'll flip this side up, and we'll I'll spray it down. So I'll spray the board real good, and then the back side of this cloth. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm doing. I'm just taking my hand and smoothing it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the grab handles and. And then we'll be ready to reinstall the headliner. Alright, so you can see we got the headliner reinstalled. And you might want to get somebody to help you whenever you reinstall the headliner. So right here's what I use. It's the 3M headliner adhesive. I'm not sure if it's any good or not, but that's what I use. And, it, and so far it uh, seems to stick pretty good. That doesn't mean it's going to last forever, but it's definitely better than the old headliner. When you install it, just repeat the steps. and. Make sure you get everything cut out for all the uh, lights and sun visors, all the handles. Make sure you get everything cut out. If you remember earlier in the video when I took the headliner out, I took all of the, the wires and the cords with me. I went ahead and peeled those off and I took some tape and I taped them back up in there. That way it don't cause problems when we're reinstalling the headliner. Well guys, let me know what you think about the new headliner. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.